My condition cystinosis affects my kidneys, my eyes and my bones. It only affects around 3,000 people worldwide. My condition is so rare that sometimes I have to teach doctors about it. I've used makeup as a form of therapy through times of bad health and this has made me really passionate about making sure everyone can experience the power of makeup like I have. I'm so excited about launching my makeup brand. It's been about three years in the making. My condition is called cystinosis. It's really rare, there's only 3,000 of us worldwide. It's a genetic metabolic condition, which means a protein called cysteine builds up in my organs and cells. It mainly affects kidneys and then it kind of also affects my eyes and then later on in life, other organs. That's my tablet alarm. This is my biggest kind of medication um, as I have to take it four times a day every six hours. So I have to uh, wake up in the middle of the night to take it. I have to take about 30 tablets a day. This is really poignant because this is when you're saluting. Well, this trying is, to try, Trying to salute. This is when we first realised that something wasn't quite right. I was tube fed from around the age of one. This was kind of around the age I was diagnosed when my parents realised when I was moving from um, kind of milk to solids, I wouldn't keep anything down. When I was young, my condition affected me quite a lot. My parents used to have to get up during the night as I was vomiting and I'd wet the bed several times a night. When we were told by doctors and you were diagnosed, it was pretty much one of the worst days of my life. The thing that made you realise you were different is people's reactions at school. I definitely felt different because of my height. Kids are mean. I did get bullied for my height, but mainly when I was a teenager. My height is four foot seven. A lot of doctors don't understand my condition. I've literally sat while a doctor's Googled my condition or I've been telling them about my condition. And even when you had the tube down, people used to stare and point every now and again somebody come over and say, is your daughter all right or what, what's that for? Mm. Which was lovely because they were curious. So I think the key moment was when you decided you wanted to eat for yourself and you had very headstrong views. Actually, then it was around the same time that you were taking control of your medications as well. In order for you to lose your tube, you had to start swallowing multiple tablets and big tablets. When I was 18, I'd finally managed to teach myself to eat and eventually I proved enough for them to remove it. So you didn't eat your entire life and the first thing you ever had was fillet steak. <laughs> and that's all you ate then for about a year? I used to chew my food loads and then I used to, because I knew how to swallow tablets, I used to swallow my food like I did Tablet, the tablets. Yeah. So I'd chew it, put it on my tongue and then yeah. drink with some water. And that's why I used to get so full because I'd have a jug of water to myself. In the last four years, I've had two kidney transplants. My first transplant was from my mum. Unfortunately, um, I got a blood clot and there were lots of complications which ended up me being extremely ill and ended up in ICU for over three months. You've always been unbelievably resilient. You've always been unbelievably... Bright. Bright and, <laughs> and tough and determined. I mean, I know that's partly because of your condition, partly because of the treatment you've had, but it's serving you so well now, really. I've always really been passionate about makeup as it's a huge part of my life in terms of me becoming confident. I've always been really creative and it's kind of like an art form. Makeup allowed me to kind of express myself and used it kind of as a form of therapy. So this is kind of what made me um, want to start my own brand. My brand is called Human Beauty because I believe that every human being is beautiful and it's all about embracing what makes us unique as human beings. These are the final samples of two products that we're going to launch in a couple of months, which is super exciting because this is the first time I've seen it. So the best thing about this is that I have a QR code that you can scan on the back of my palette. This will lead you to a video of me verbally describing each shade in detail to help those who are visually impaired and blind. The wand is uniquely developed because it can be applied vertically and horizontally, which enables it to be used by people who have mobility issues. 
I'm having my first ever product photo shoot for my makeup line, which is really exciting. And then I'm meeting my friend Poppy later to discuss how it went and have a catch up. This one I want from like above, like a flat lay, and I might get um, a piece of paper or something so we can have different coloured backgrounds. Yeah, sure. Uh, but yeah, for that, for that one from, from above. The photo shoot's going really well. It's really exciting to see kind of the products together. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I'm so excited about launching my makeup brand. It's been about three years in the making and product development, and I'm just so excited to get my products in the hands of everyone. Really, really love them. Well done, Sam. Thank you. How did the shoot go? It went really, really well. It was so good seeing all the products like come to life and the photos turned out really well. That's amazing. I'm so excited for you. I know, it's so excited. Can't wait. I can't wait to see everything. I think Millie's handling her condition better than I would or anyone else I know would. She's literally the strongest person I've ever met. Millie absolutely inspires me. She see the beautiful things in life and not want to give up regardless of what kind of gets in my way. I'm definitely a really positive person. I um, never like to dwell on the negatives and always trying to find a positive out of a situation. My condition has made me who I am 100%. I think the fact that I've gone through so much hard times has made me a much more stronger, resilient and motivated person and that I just want to live life to the fullest. I'm unapologetically me and I found this through kind of my hair colour, my makeup and my fashion. It's really helped me embrace who I am. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story. It is my truth.